Ever pondered the possibility of humans breathing underwater? A world where we could explore the deep blue without the aid of oxygen tanks or submarines? The ocean's depths have always been a source of fascination, an uncharted territory that promises mystery and adventure. Yet, our human limitations have kept us at bay. Breathing, an act as natural as blinking, is our lifeline. It's a dance between our bodies and the air around us, an exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide that keeps us alive. But put us underwater, and this dance comes to a jarring halt. Why is that? Simply put, our lungs aren't designed to extract oxygen from water. They're adept at pulling oxygen from the air but water's different composition makes it impossible for us to breathe it in. So you see, our current biological makeup prevents us from breathing underwater. But what if things were different? To understand why we can't breathe underwater we first need to grasp how breathing works. You see, our lungs are masterful pieces of biological engineering designed specifically to extract oxygen from the air. The process is simple yet intricate. When we inhale, air fills our lungs, reaching millions of tiny air sacs called alveoli. These alveoli are surrounded by a network of tiny blood vessels or capillaries where the magic happens. Oxygen passes through the thin walls of the alveoli into the bloodstream, binding with hemoglobin in our red blood cells. This oxygen-rich blood then travels throughout our body, delivering life-sustaining oxygen to our cells. The flip side of this process is the removal of carbon dioxide, a waste product of cellular activity. Carbon dioxide diffuses from the blood into the alveoli and is expelled when we exhale. This delicate balance of inhale and exhale, oxygen in and carbon dioxide out, keeps us alive. But what about water? Well, water contains far less oxygen than air and it's much denser. Our lungs simply aren't equipped to extract oxygen from water, and the sheer volume of it would cause them to collapse. We also lack the necessary gills to filter out the oxygen dissolved in water. So, the science is clear. Our lungs can't handle water. But what if we could alter that? Imagine a world where humans have evolved to breathe underwater. What would it take for this to be possible? This is not as far-fetched as it initially sounds. First and foremost, humans would need a way to extract oxygen from water. This is where gills come into play. Fish and several other aquatic organisms possess these specialized organs that allow them to filter and extract dissolved oxygen from water. Essentially, for humans to breathe underwater, we would need to develop an equivalent system. But breathing is only one part of the equation. The human body would also need to adapt to withstand the intense pressure that comes with significant underwater depths. Picture a submarine, designed to cope with the crushing pressure of the deep sea. Human bodies would need to evolve in a similar way with tougher skin, stronger bones, and a more durable cardiovascular system. And yet, these evolutionary changes come with their own set of challenges. What of communication, for instance? Sound behaves differently underwater so we would need to adapt our vocal cords and hearing capabilities. Would our diet change? How would we protect ourselves from predators? These are just a few of the myriad questions that arise when we delve into the art of underwater possibilities. But despite the challenges, the idea of humans adapting to live and breathe underwater is a captivating one. It's a fascinating thought, isn't it? A world where we can breathe underwater just as easily as we breathe air. So, to sum up, humans can't breathe underwater due to the limitations of our respiratory system and the physical properties of water. We've explored the complex mechanisms of our lungs, the vital role of oxygen, and the stark contrast between air and water. Hypothetically altering our genetic makeup or creating advanced technologies might allow us to experience the deep blue like never before. While we may not be able to breathe underwater, our curiosity and scientific advancements continue to push the boundaries of what's possible. Who knows what the future holds?